In this short video, we're going to run through the practical application of shockwave therapy for plantar fasciitis. Now, plantar fasciitis is a chronic and often problematic condition for patients. The aim of using shockwave therapy is to initiate a biological response in those tissues, as well as reducing excess muscle tone around the area and reducing pain. We can use both radial and focused shockwave for this condition. We can use the radial shockwave to assist in reducing muscle tone and in terms of managing pain. We can also treat the tissue locally with the radial, but what we do find is that Focus Shockwave has the ability to drive energy deeper into the tissue, having a more therapeutic effect for the patient. So we can use the V-Actor to start the treatment. What's really good about the V-Actor is it helps to desensitise and it acts as a massage tool. We don't use any gel with this head, there's no shockwave coming out. Make sure you select channel 2 on the machine and you're ready to go. The next step is to use the radial shockwave and using the D20 transmitter to address the trigger points in the calf muscle. Simply palpate the calf and locate any trigger points that cause the patient discomfort. From here, we're going to select channel 1 back to your radial. So using gel this time, I'm going to apply to the areas of the trigger point. You want to use small circular movements while doing the treatment and identifying with the patient where the pain or discomfort is experienced. Once we've finished treating the trigger points in the calf, we're going to change the transmitter and put the Deep Impact 15. This is the preferred transmitter for the plantar fascia. Going to go to the screen and change our settings. You can choose your clinical protocol or adjust. Selecting the new transmitter, the Deep Impact 15. We're going to put our energy up to four bar and selecting the ramp feature. As I mentioned before, plantar fasciitis, we can use radial pressure wave and focus shock wave. What focus shock wave allows us to do is to deliver more energy to greater depth. The other advantage of focus shock wave is that treatment times are often less. So with focus shock wave, we'll need somewhere between one and three treatments, whereas with radial pressure wave, it can be somewhere between four and six. So to use the focus machine, what we're going to do is we're going to load the configuration or the program. So we're going to find the orthopedic conditions and select plantar fasciitis. We'll load this program, touch the screen to engage the parameters. Depending on the tissue depth and where you want to deliver the energy, you'll apply the standoff. We've got two standoffs, standoff one and two. In this case, we're gonna use standoff one. This treatment is different to radial in that it's a static treatment. You might move the probe slightly to find the area of most tenderness. Once you've found that area, hover over that, gently pivoting to move the energy through the tissue. 